Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Welcome to the next episode of the Bitcoin Family's Sharing a Star Caring Tour. This time we were still in Turkey. We went to do a very beautiful hike in Saklikent. We went to Pamukle, where you swam in the same pool as Cleopatra. Yeah, that yeah. was really cool. That was really cool. We got some amazing questions from the audience, so I'm going to answer the questions. And at the end, I will also explain to you why we use Light I am as a wallet, as a Bitcoin wallet. Do you like Light I am? Yeah, because Daddy sends Bitcoin to me, so I like it. Yeah, she loves it. And um, that will be very interesting as well. So stay tuned, like the episode, share the episode, thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up and enjoy it. What the f did you do? I threw my earring in the. But you threw? Yeah, I threw my ear. Look. There's many little packages of the inside What? Your earring. Yeah, I want to put this one inside. Yeah. And then the Your old one. Old one full. Hey, right, yes. Put it all in. Is it in? Yeah. Today we are going to Saklikent National Park in Turkey. It's near Fiti. It's a beautiful park with waterfalls and all that things people tell us. So let's see if it's beautiful over there. Saklikent. It was a beautiful ride through beautiful villages. Yeah. We just called to a student. You got discount because you were a student. You don't even go to school. Yeah. What do you have to say? Thank you. It's not really a what you do. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> I get discount. some kind of a mud stream that ends in a waterfall and um, of course we will visit the waterfall as well but it's a beautiful piece of nature We call it vegan. It's good. This is the blue lagoon. So we are now walking to the blue lagoon. It should be the most beautiful um, beach of Turkey. So yeah. I think it was one of the most beautiful beaches. So the, the beach you don't like? The sea is beautiful. The beach I didn't like. Too many beds and too many people. And I've seen better. Um, <laughs> Something I like was that there were pretty boys. Oh God. <laughs> if that is your taste of pretty. What is your mom? Next time they look at you, they need what to pay Turkish lira. Yeah. What is the purpose of our trip? Do you want to go first or why? Um, the purpose of a trip. Yeah, we started the trip uh, because we wanted to change life. 
And now uh, with the minivan, we um, wanted also to um, help other people. So that's why we call yeah. the strip the sharing is caring tour. Because uh, while, what we learned with our traveling, there are a lot of people who don't know about Bitcoin. So we want them to educate about the Bitcoin and the crypto world. And who uh, yeah, need help, who, who don't know how to um, get by in life. It's a struggle for a lot of people. So um, with the donations and with the, uh, the money we, uh, or the Bitcoins we earn... We also uh, give most to uh, people who need it. That's kind of our purpose. Yeah, I think the purpose is to create a huge Bitcoin family. Like we are, we are a five-person Bitcoin family. I want to create a huge Bitcoin family where that is aware about, um, you know, the people that really need Bitcoin and blockchain. Most people we saw in the first two and a half years of our travels. They already know what you know Bitcoin is. They pay 600 euros to go to a crypto event and what is there to educate. So that's why we decided, okay, we already changed life. We are traveling two and a half years as a different family without anything else than Bitcoin. What are we going to do now? So we decided the goal needs to be educating those people that really need to be educated. The poor people, the NGOs, you know, the, the, the orphanages that, that need to start directly accepting Bitcoin as a donation. And I think that will change their life. Um, because if I can send my nephew in the Moroccan Sea who doesn't have access to a bank account, I can send him a uh, sort kind of value like Bitcoin and he can use it there to buy something or use it there to online buy something at eBay. Um, that will change his life. And that's a huge impact on, on, on society. I think we, will, we are facing the biggest social revolution, social economic revolution we have ever seen. And, and we as a family just try to lead by example. So Yeah, but what we get in return is we learn also a lot of the people in need because they live in a different way. Yeah. They, are, they, can, they are so happy with just for what we think is uh, so, so less, or how do you say it? Yeah, with they so are happy with the minimalistic lifestyle. Yeah, yeah and, and what they make of it, how they make uh, their own jam, how they uh, create their own food. I learn a lot from it. It's yeah. for me as well. Um, it's one, one a big lesson. Lesson <laughs> and adventure. Yeah, it's a huge adventure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the main goal again is to support those people um, where Bitcoin is needed most and where blockchain is needed most. And again, we have grown up in a luxury situation of bank accounts and everything. So even we needed to see with our own eyes during our traps and travels. Let's take Indonesia, 16,000 islands. Most, I think 80% of the people living on the, those islands are disconnected from the banking system. You know, we needed to see with our own eyes that they can live without a bank account to believe it because we have always lived with this bank account. Yeah. And now, um, yeah, blockchain and Bitcoin are going to change this. And, we, and, and that is the goal. Educate those people about this huge change and how to become part of it. Um, as a family, the Bitcoin family with the BitMobile. Yeah. And of course, one of the goals is just enjoying life and traveling life. And, yeah. you and love letting, to make, letting our kids see uh, the, the different kinds of people in the world and all that is possible in this world. Yeah. Yeah. There is more than running the hamster wheel, isn't there? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Girls, what are we going to do today? Today we are going to help sea turtles. Sea turtles? Yeah. So you like to help sea turtles? Yeah. yeah. How are we going to help them? I don't know. No, they will explain us over there. Yeah. And what are we going to do with the turtles? Uh, take one. Take one? <laughs> so we are not going to help them? Hmm? We're gonna help it then. And you wanna take one? Yeah. Where? There. Not to the sea. <laughs> so we are now driving to the turtle rescue center of Thailand. It's near the beach, it's another 10 minute drive. We don't know exactly what to expect. We do know that we wanna do a small donation of some profits we made we made with trading. Um, the last few weeks uh, we prefer to help them physically help them for a few hours 
and my mission today will be to explain them how they can accept Bitcoin as a form of donation by using a simple wallet like Light I am so that people can donate through Messenger, Facebook Messenger or Telegram or WhatsApp. So hopefully we will succeed in helping them um, but we'll see. They should not be treated like a pet, they should be there in uh, their natural environment. This tank is funded by BTC Pipeline Company. What does BTC mean? For us it means Bitcoin. BTC for us is Bitcoin. So there is a Bitcoin connection. Beautifully going down. We are not going to enjoy the sunset, but we are going to help for an hour or two at the center. We are going to help with cleaning the tanks, we're going to help with uh, taking care of the turtles. We are not allowed to film inside. I don't know why, but I just respect this, and I they, everybody has a reason for something. But we can help, and that's what all the all we want to do. So we did a small donation about 50 euros in cash because we don't yet know how to accept bitcoins. I've spoken with them about Bitcoins, I'm going to educate them on how um, to accept Bitcoins. We are going to discuss with management and then we will take it to the next step and where we will do a Bitcoin donation and we will teach them how to collect those Bitcoins into Turkish Lira. Um, but first, let's help them with cleaning everything after a hard day of work. And I want to say one more thing, that everybody should be careful with what you throw in the sea because all the plastic bags, they turtles think they are jellyfish and they eat them and then they die so don't throw plastic or whatever in the sea because turtles die animals die so don't do it a lot of turtles die because a boat hits them so watch out when you drive the boat if you see a turtle in pain please help it just cleaned um we just helped at the Turtle Rescue Center and it was very cool, I think. It's hard work. Yeah, it really is hard work. It's really hard work. They empty the tanks, they clean the tanks. It's hot. <laughs> it's very hard, um, but it's it's really good what these people are doing. Um, I'm going to make sure they will accept Bitcoin as a donation and you can uh, send some Bitcoins over there. It was amazing. Um, thanks to her, we were able to... Oh, yeah, we will Yeah, we will help. And, um, it was a it was a pleasure. It was so beautiful. These people, they deserve donations. So I mean, let's help happy. them. Tonight we slept with five in the bit mobile. It fits, but we need to organize some suitcases before we can sleep. And now Jesse needs to get up because we need to put everything back in order because we are leaving today again because we only came to visit. Hamukele today, which we are going to do. So, Jessa, get up. They are not accepting Bitcoin over here. I can't see a Bitcoin sign, so I will use my beautiful wireless card, which holds my Bitcoin, and exchange them to Turkish Lira for them. We got in. We paid with Wirex card because they didn't accept Bitcoin directly. What does the Wirex card do? It exchanges my Bitcoin to, in this uh, situation, Turkish Lira. So 
So they don't even see that I'm paying with Bitcoins. They just are receiving Turkish Lira. But my Bitcoins are being exchanged at a day rate to Turkish Lira. So that's how we manage to spend Bitcoins on places where it's a little bit more difficult than normally. And Turkey till now has not been the most easy place to spend your Bitcoins because uh, the adoption here is not uh, as it should be in a country with a currency that is devaluating every year. But that's my opinion. This is how real life is. This is what I have to deal with like on daily basis. So I'm not just the most lucky dad, I'm just a normal dad. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, and as promised, I will explain to you why we chose LightyM as a sponsor for the Sharing and Scaring Tour. It's very simple. LightyM and the Bitcoin family share the same vision about how Bitcoin and blockchain is going to change the world and how it will have a tremendous social impact on many people's lives. But to reach that kind of mass adoption, you need to simplify the use of Bitcoin and Litecoin, for example. And that is exactly what LightyM is doing. They simplify the use of all cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin. How? It's very easy. They use current technology like Facebook and Telegram. And they make it possible that you can send, buy, receive and exchange Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum with the use of Facebook Messenger or Telegram. Do you know how huge this is? This means that I... I do not need to explain very difficult things to my nephew in the Moroccan Islands. How to install a Bitcoin wallet, how to uh, you know protect your private keys, what is a private key and all the things. If he is using Facebook Messenger or Telegram, I can send him my referral link. He just needs to click it, run through three or four steps. It, take, it will take maybe up to three minutes max. And he is uh, the owner of a Bitcoin wallet. And I am able to send him some Bitcoins or Litecoins and he's able to receive them. He's even able to exchange them. He's able to send them. He's even able to use his referral link to his friends and family and even earn Bitcoin. So in my opinion, this is huge. I think they are really build, they really build something that is going to have a social impact on many people's lives because it's going to um, simplify the use of Bitcoin and that's exactly what I like and what we as a family like. So what better sponsor could we want? It's just perfect for the sharing and scaring tour. We will be traveling to very poor countries and very uh, uneducated people and it's a very good tool and to on a simple way explain people how to start using Bitcoin and afterwards maybe they can use a private wallet if they do huge amounts but most people will start with small amounts. And then I think Light I Am is the perfect start for many people all over the world. So that's the explanation why we accepted Light I Am as a sponsor of the tour. Visit the website light.im or go to Telegram or go to Facebook and send me a message and I will send you my referral link because then we will be earning Bitcoins as well and I will share that with the poor people we meet during this travel. That's all. Hope you like it. If you don't, visit the bitcoinfamily.com. I, I put the same text there um, and the explanation why we accepted the sponsorship with some beautiful photos. So have fun.
So today we're going to a water park with slides and everything. So yeah. Do you need to go to the toilet? Yeah. Why? Are you a little bit scared? Yeah. Why? Because it's so fast. We're doing a challenge on the slide. It's a water park. It's for kids. Do you see the babies walking over there? Yeah. Okay, Jessa, I'm going to go on that one. So you would think our kids would be like very free and open and dancing. But they are very shy. Okay, I'm filming you. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, you want me to film myself because my hair looks fat on this one. Because it's a uh, GoPro. Oh. <laughs> this is a really good cool one. And it goes harder than you think. <laughs> Ah, the land number one euro. What is it? Picture. Show me. Wow. Beautiful picture. Did you enjoy your day? Yes. Did you like the water park? No. But I am look happy on this picture. Wow. <laughs> we are driving to Chanakale. Chanakle is the point in Turkey where they fought against the, I think the Greeks and the French and all the thing and where they, where the biggest battle was to be, to stay Turkey. So that's where we're going to stay for one or two nights before we drive into Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> 